my name is Ajamu X. I'm I'm a fine art photographer, and and I, I am also an archive manager for the Ruckus Black Lesbian Gay Archive project. The archive I was formed in I'm 2005, and the aim of the archive is to I, collect any kind of materials around the black lesbian and gay experience within the UK. I first kind of identified as being bisexual um, before I kind of identified uh, with being gay. So I'm, I think kind of I'm, I started to use the word gay in my early 20s, I'm, especially when I was I'm living in London. And then now I'm, I'm, I don't identify as being gay. I, I actually now I prefer the word queer than gay. My parents are Jamaican and they're very cool, very supportive. I'm, they know the work I do, they know my friends, so I'm, I've never had any problems with my immediate family, cousins, or I'm, any other kind of extended members of my family. I think kind of what young black men need is, is a probably spaces and whereby they could, whereby they could actually talk about their emotions to talk about love and feelings in terms of kind of that kind of internal landscape around kind of one's identity. I think for me kind of I'm I think I think kind of I'm so much black so much young black men get caught up in being very hard, very rough or whatever. Somehow somehow there might be kind of issues around kind of a fear of being sensitive, um, a fear of talking about who they are and what they are. And I'm not talking about one sexual orientation, I'm talking about one kind of core identity, really. I think kind of that's where kind of um, young black men and men actually have, have to get back to that space whereby they can um, talk about what it means to be a, a young black male, <laughs> maybe living in Brixton in 2008. And I think kind of too often the, the field and for young black men, in particular young black men, is so small. And like, I think we have to kind of widen that frame of reference for young black men to kind of identify themselves, how they choose to, without the fear of being attacked or um, abused by their peers, right, yeah, without um, the fear of um, their family kind of saying, well, actually, you can't do that. Men don't do that. We need to keep, keep on challenging these ideas about what it means to be black and male within this society. That is the, the, the message that I would leave behind. One I was I'm living in Chapel Town in Leeds in 1987. I came across a um, advert in the Caribbean Times um, that advertised the first, the first national black gamers conference in this alliance. This was October 87. I, I was still living in Leeds with my girlfriend at this point. I came down to, came, came down to the conference in um, October. And this was the first time that Ashram kind of met a whole group of kind of black gay men talking about kind of heritage and history, safer sex, um, the black community and the issues with um, homophobia, talking about racism in terms of the white gay community. And the basically, um, by um, the January, I had then moved to London because then I kind of like came into kind of kind of around community that was kind of like very kind of like political around kind of certain kind of ideas. Um, that was one of them, and um, I think I'm also the previous year I I was working on a publication that we started called Black and went to Leeds, and then met I I met the last points, I met I'm a group called Turbo, I who was like Martin Glynn. And I'm, and I, this was the first time that I kind of i came across black men, and that was talking about kind of kind of black politics. And so basically, um, that just kind of like just kind of opened my kind of my eyes to kind of uh, people like Malcolm X and Angela Davis and so on and so forth. I think kind of those two things kind of like coming together, I think for me kind of had kind of probably a major impact in into the kind of the politics. Around, around my kind of sexual identity uh, from then on up to now. And so hence I'm the name, I'm a Jamu X, is kind of in a reference to um, Malcolm X because I'm, he was, I, th I think for me, kind of my first kind of key role model. And then also I'm changing my name to an, 
African name as well um, is a very kind of significant. So um, those are kind of some of the th three key things, but there's kind of millions of kind of major events and kind of small events that still played a key role as well.